Hey there, this is Brett with a uh, Lego storage video. Uh, I thought I'd share with you how I store my le extra Legos, etc. So here we go. Um, you know the usual one gallon Ziploc baggies. Can never have enough Lego, can never have enough bags. So that's one of my ways of doing it. Another way of doing it is these baby wipe containers. Put a sticker on the side, a sticker on top. Then you can have miscellaneous light gray or whatever color you have. If you have a lot of these. This is the only one I had and at the time I was... I didn't have a lot of containers, so I used this, and I haven't changed it out yet. Second, you can put this all in a uh, one-gallon Ziploc zip baggie, but for demonstration purposes, one-by-two one, uh, one white brick, you can put anything you want in this type of container. It's see-through. It makes it nice and easy. Plus, if you're cleaning a lot of white and you're using hydrogen peroxide, um, don't get it, you know, you can put your Legos in here. But if you noticed here, you have little holes for the handle and uh, hydrogen peroxide will seep out. So it makes it great if you're cleaning a lot of them. But walking it out of the house onto outside, out in the sun, you're going to have a little spill. Third, this is what I use to when I build mocks. And if I have a lot, I just put, instead of bringing out the whole tray, I fill up my uh, tray and bring it out to the building table. Or, and they make a lot great you know, storage for their, for temporary storage. Um, these are from Ramen Noodle, Ramen Noodle, Ramen Noodle, however you want to say it. Uh, they're like 54 cents a piece. They make great, um, like I just showed you, holding Lego so you don't have to carry out your whole entire... Uh, bag or your tray which I'm about to show you this here is what I use mostly fishing tray you can buy at Walmart for under four dollars I think last time I bought any there are three dollars and eighty four cents a piece multiple dividers you can make them any big and small as you want this did house the dark blue gray one by two bricks but I had so many of them, I put them in the one gallon Ziploc baggie. And I'm just storing stuff like this in here. And they make great, as you can see here, I color coded uh, my bricks one by one, one by two. My plate is blue, my tile is black, and um, the colors represents the color so if it's red it would have a red sticker if it had a green it would be in green black is black blue is blue yellow is in a different color because yellow doesn't show up very well and you can also keep your minifigures very separated like I have here Star Wars Rogue, Rogue One minifigures and plus I have Aquaman in there um and then you have your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if you get a lot of them, you can separate them into uh, movies. You know, first movie, second movie, etc., etc. And from the cartoon show. And this is how I hold them all. It is a three-quarter inch OSB box. Simply, it's a box. As you can see here, it holds six here, 
And if I wanted to, let's say I moved easy carrying and putting in your back seat. So let's do this. Put this here. And they stack very, very well. You can go as high as you want. Yeah, let's just make more of a mess, why don't we? Anyhow, if I had to do it all over again, I would make this here a sixteenth wider. Because it's just a little... Some are uh, different styles, different companies. And... It's a little cramped. But to pull them out, all you have to do... You can have them lined up. Pull the one on the bottom here. Pull it out, get what you want. And then put it on top. And you're only out of sequence five trays. But if you're moving, you can easily pick it up. And store it like this in your back seat and they don't have to fall out. So it's like a little mini box. And also I would do maybe a sixteenth longer. Because this is right flat straight. So in the end, that is how I store my Legos. I have 71 of these boxes filled with six each. So that's over 400. No. 71 times 6. That's what, 42? Yeah. Pretty darn close to that. And I would show you where, how I have it, but with the recent, um, that guy, um, uh, Republic Bricks, having his house broken into, I decided I'm not going to do that at the moment. So please excuse me if, um, if I don't show you a really good room tour yet. So, anyways, that is how I have my Lego storage. Um, however you want to do it, it's fine. It's your collection. Collect, collect what you want, how you want. Store it how you want. Use what you want. But this is just the way I do it. It works for me. Um... Yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments section below. Sorry for the shakiness because I'm holding my uh, phone by my hand. And um, what else? Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, you can stack these six high, five high, four high, two high, even eight high. As long as you can reach it, you can stack it. So for now, that is it, and until next time, take it easy, stay out of trouble, hit the like, comment section below, you know what to do. So, thank you again for watching, thank you for subscribing, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and hit the like button like I already said in the last minute and a half. So, thanks again, bye.